Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a new watch from Ralph Christian. They're a brand I have reviewed before. Um, they make kind of a very, very affordable watches that are actually built very nicely. And, you know, they use, you know, reliable, you know, quartz movements, a lot of them. And they're just really nicely built, good for, like, everyday use. Um, good for a lot of different things in a lot of different situations. This one's kind of very sporty. This is their new Phantom Collection. And this is in the royal blue. As you can see, we get a blacked out case here. It's a chronograph as well, 60 minute countdown. Just very interesting dial uh, also. And I thought it was pretty cool. So we're gonna take a closer look at it today. Let's get started with what's on my wrist. Then we'll take a look at the packaging. It's pretty much the same, but they added a new dust bag, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, we'll jump right into it. Today on my wrist is the Tissot PRX. As you can see, I have been getting a lot of use out of this watch. I bought this a year and a half ago actually bought it in a Macy's. They were like all sold out online when they were first released. And as you can see, you know, I tried to polish it a lot, not polish, brush it a little bit. I did scratch it up a lot. I wore this like every day for like literally four months. Um, but yeah, it's still running great. Great bracelet, very comfortable. Swiss quartz watch, waterproof as well. Um, great everyday watch. You can bring it in the water, take it on vacation, wear it with a suit. You know, great watch. So, you know, if you're looking for something, you know, Kind of with this Genta design, this could be something uh, for you. I did a full review on this watch. You can check back on my log as well. And yeah, just an all around great watch. Now the Ralph Christian Phantom did come in the standard Ralph Christian box. You get a little pad in there with your warranty card. But it also did come with a dust bag, which is something new. The other ones didn't come with dust bags. So, you know, just something to add on to the, the value, I would say. Now, the price is $229 US dollars from Ralph Christian. They ship from Florida. Uh, so it arrived pretty quick. You know, about two days it got here via USPS. I believe they do ship worldwide as well. The price is $229. But if you go on their website, which I will drop a link down in the description below, you sign up your email, you get like 15% off, so you can actually get this watch for under $200, I believe, which is a pretty decent value. It's very, feels very nice in hand. Uh, the watch itself is solid 316L, stainless steel as usual, the industry standard. It is 44 millimeters in terms of diameter, so it's definitely a little bit bigger than the average, you know, some of your smaller size chronographs, I'd say. 47 lug to lug, which is actually pretty small, and 13 millimeters thick, which is pretty normal for a chronograph. You get your two pushers here on the sides of the watch as usual. You get a signed crown, pull and push, only 50 meters of water resistant, uh, resistance, water resistance on this model. So definitely not one to submerge in the water. But if you get caught in the rain, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. If it starts raining out or if you know, splash it while you're washing your hands, you should be okay. Um, but anyway, the watch itself has a sapphire coated crystal, um, which gives it a little more hardness. Uh, I believe they take a mineral crystal and they coat it with sapphire. So you get kind of get that you know look of a sapphire crystal because there's actually a sapphire coating on it. Um, it's kind of almost the same thing I would say. Anyway, let's get a closer look in on this dial. A lot going on here. Three sub dials, it's uh, ticking seconds hand. We get the numeral 12 with the Ralph Christian logo, and you can actually see the date passing. It's kind of like I would say it's like see-through a little bit, kind of smoky the dial, so you can see through. You can actually see the date passing around in a circle, which is pretty cool. You get a 24-hour counter over there at the 3 o'clock position. You get your 60-minute countdown over there at the 9 o'clock. And then you get your running uh, chronograph seconds over there at the 6 o'clock. And then you get your hour hand and your minute hand, which does have loom on it as well. And they are skeletonized. Um, yeah, it just looks really cool. I just want to show you how you can see the... Date. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the crown one position. Easy to grip, no issues there. You change the date. As you can see, you can see the date going around on the side of the subdials, which is really cool. Just thought that was a nice little touch. The final position is hacking, as you can see. That light blue seconds hand will stop, and then you can set the time precisely. Push it back down, and you're all ready to go. Now, to actually use the chronograph, very simple. You start it with the top button. As you can see, this is going to start going. Once that reaches one minute, it'll tick one minute over here. You have 60 minute countdown. Stop it with this. As you can see, that stops. Reset it and you're all good to go. Very easy to use. Now, it comes on this integrated band. As you can see, it's an integrated kind of silicone band. Um, a nice little design here for some grit. You get two safety keepers, a nice custom buckle brushed as well with their logo. And two keepers here, one stationary, one floating. Nice grip on the back of it as well. They're actually very comfortable, these bands. I never had an issue actually fitting one of these to my wrist. And taking a look at the case back, held down by screws. 
as you can see, quality control pass, 50 meters, professional, stainless steel, all brushed, pretty simple, nothing to worry about there. I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, there also is some loom on this watch as well. Um, let's see what the loom's about. It glows green there loom, it's some type of super luminova. Uh, let's see uh, what it's all about. And as you can see there, there is loom. It actually glows pretty bright on the hour, minutes hand, the sub-dial hand, and that large 12 at the 12 o'clock position. So you definitely will kind of know the time at night uh, due to the positioning of the 12 at the 12 o'clock position. And yeah, I must say the loom actually glows pretty decent. On my 6.5 inch wrist, my wrist is not that big. 47 lug to lug. It fits perfectly across, wraps very nicely on the band. No issues there, very comfortable fit. No issues breaking in this band, it comes broken in already, so don't definitely don't worry about that. Um, you're not gonna have to worry about changing the band, you're gonna get some good use out of this band. Um, but yeah, very comfortable, it looks very sporty, I must say. I like this buckle, it keeps flush with the band, as you can see there, which I really do appreciate. You kinda get this nice profile from the side that kind of curves down, as the case curves down with the band, as you can see there, the band is curved as well with the cutouts that match the case, which is really cool. I really like that. But yeah, very comfortable on the wrist. Sized perfectly, I got the perfect fit. Um, that's just my wrist, not sure about yours. Nonetheless, guys, I think it's a really nice looking watch for your money. You know, you're spending under 200 US dollars and the quality is pretty good. Uh, you're getting a nice kind of, I believe this is PVD coated with black. It's stainless steel, obviously. I really like their new design, kind of curves down and it's kind of hollowed out over here. And it kind of matches the band, which is really, really cool. Really kind of custom. I've I've never seen another case that looks like this. Nice little cutouts on the side, which are brushed, and you get a mix of polish and brush surfaces going along the side of the case. Um, but yeah, just a really cool look. Something I've never kind of seen before, you know. Um, there are a lot of brands doing kind of, you know, Richard Mills kind of stuff. This is completely different, and you're kind of almost getting that kind of design, but not really. It's kind of like a tonneau case shape, but with their own design, I would say. Uh, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this watch. There are no quality control issues, or I would have stated that in the video. Runs very good. It's using a Japanese quartz chronograph. I didn't mention, runs on a battery. You get about a two year battery life. These are very accurate, couple seconds plus a month, and you don't have to worry about setting the time. You wake up, you put it on, and you're good to go. Which is what a lot of people, normal people, really do like in watches. Um, you know, there's a lot more issues with automatic watches, and uh, even mecha quartz watches as well. But yeah, this one will definitely, you know, run all day without any issues. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Definitely like the video. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. We'll drop a link to Ralph Christian uh, so you can check them out if you want after this video. I believe, believe this one is low stock. Last time I checked on their website, just to give you a heads up. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. A lot of interesting content coming up real soon. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.